Hi. Welcome, Gemini. It's Robin. Happy birthday. This is a Gemini reading for you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you, my precious gems. I've not forgotten you guys. Um, I haven't forgotten it was your birthday. I want to tell you thank you for being you. Look at my, my grandson. My brand new grandson's a Gemini. Look at you guys. This is a gift from my Gemini friend who I went to celebrate her birthday with. A little carry purse. Isn't that cool? My cell phone fits right in it. So, Gemini, I love you very much. We're going to do a love reading for you. A little extra just for your birthday. Mm-hmm. I'm actually in the process of talking to a Gemini, and she is a reader. And we're going to spend some time together because I love her very much. All right. Some of the most profound people and important people in my life are the Geminis right now. And they all seem to be women. And I'm extraordinarily grateful for that. So before, without any further ado, let me call in Divine White Light, Holy Angels, Supportive Energies, Benevolent Guides, Witnesses of the Truth, the Truth that is the Truth that ever was, Kundalini Prayer. You are never the same from day to day. You change from day to day. I'm going to miss your space. This is an anointing oil that was created in divine meditation. And you can purchase it on my website. Or you can email me for some. It's absolutely divine for both sexes. It's for sacred times. It's for prayer. It's for healing. Here we go. Romance angels, we're going to take a look at love for you guys. I'm going to pull four love messages and then see what they say, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your love. Whoa, no, I guess not. <laughs> um, let me give them another shuffle. Three. Jeez whiz, girl. I'm so in tune with your spirit. My body wants to... Um, I feel like... A bird that can't fly is what I feel like right now. Like you're almost not able to fly. You've got these beautiful, immense, angelic wings. Um, I think you guys are all like thunder light beings of some kind. And you're, s you're fun. <laughs> Thanks for being fun. I love you. Thanks for being the lovers. Here we go. One, true love is on your table. There's chemistry with someone. There is this lesson of learning and forgiving, so you can be strong within yourself. And then there is the energy of children or inner child. Okay? So I'm going to ask... Uh, I'm going to ask for some guidance on this. Give me a card for each one of these so that we can explain what's going on with Gemini's experience with love. Those of you who are in love, had love, want love, need love, feel love, live love. There is something here, and it looks like it might include children. It might have something to do with the relationship that you, uh, you are divinely connected to this person, and you have, may be expecting a family or actually building one. You may be dealing with children on a regular basis and still trying to have a love life in the process, forgiving the past, learning, forgiving yourself for how you feel about the past, moving forward in your power, moving forward in your joy, moving forward for what makes you feel like a little kid again, but also the divine light being that you truly are. Tell me about this true love for Gemini's, please. Okay. Let me say this, my beautiful champions of heartbreak. The reason your heart breaks so easily is because you are so light. You're an air sign. You're so light. You're the scholars, the scholars, you know, uh, of the zodiac. And it's very difficult to, to be with somebody who's hard on you. So you ha are in the process of forgiving someone getting over past pains, allowing that to just dissipate out of your heart and your mind so that you can find true love. 
But this is in reference to a lover, and this is you not feeling your perky best. Even though there's chemistry, lovers in reverse. Gemini, are you feeling like sad? Are you like really trying to get over something? This is someone trying, thinking they had their true love. And it was just a lover. It was one of many. Seven of Cups. So we are seeing an energy here of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yourself. Feeling a little upside down. Feeling a little bit oh, working on overcoming. Not putting your heart into something. You're not putting your heart into a lover specifically right now. The Seven of Cups is when you have many, many choices and options and desires and dreams and things that are could happen. But they could also be somewhat illusional. Um... And in reverse, this is someone who's feeling, someone who knows that this person is not going to invest in you. Yeah, they're not going to invest in you. Let's take a look at, um, I'll pull other cards on that too. Matter of fact, let's do it right now. So right now, let's see what this true love message actually is. What are we talking about with this true love? Being in reversal. Some of you are kind of like put out. You put someone out or they put you out or something happened where you um, you didn't have any choice. You ran out of time. That just showed up and you brought an ending to something or someone brought an ending or at least an ending to a chapter of something. Um, it is a major energy. It's like the world card. Just a moment. A couple of cards fell out. Yeah. Okay. These fell out and I picked them up exactly like this. This is a moon in reverse. This is someone seeing things exactly like they are coming out, having spiritual gifts, knowing who they are, having been through their traumas, having already dealt, dreamt the dream and moved forward with that dream. And uh, know what you have to offer and your time is running out. You cannot put up with someone who has many choices but uh, is not committing to you and not walking this path with you, helping you to make a decision. So you're ascending on your own, some of you. Now let's take a look at this chemistry. Chemistry for Geminis, please. Tell me about this person that's bringing out the best in them or making them feel pop, you know, pop, 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 and, um, physically, spiritually. What is this chemistry? Who is this person? What are their energies for Gemini, please? What are their energies? And what does Gemini need to know about it? We have uh, someone who is uh, a big talker. Okay, this could be you. I see someone coming in and say, doing a swift message. A quick shift in energy as well. This is a shift in energy. This is like a eureka, like I just have to tell them. I have to tell them that I have to tell them my truth even though I feel this chemistry with them I do not want this passion like this I do not want this in and out experience I do not want lack of commitment I do not want Aries Leo Sagittarius just passion I want a real relationship I want someone to build with me, chemistry or not. I'm looking for true love. It's a message. Clarify one more, please. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Ah, see? On the move, babies. So that's Cancer energy. And uh, what we have here is somebody who's intuitively moving away from something that's not serving them. And where are they going? Well, they're not telling anybody. Uh, you're not telling everybody. You're keeping it to yourself. You don't want to go back to this person. Page of Cups in reverse. Uh, they put you all up in your head. You might have had chemistry with this person. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but whoever this is, they put you up in your head. So, under forgiving and learning. Now, they say, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. That's my wish for you, beautifuls. It truly is. Guess why? Because upon trusting yourself fully without any question, knowing your etherealness, knowing your light worker energy, knowing that you are 
You are uh, carriers of divine messages and light. You know about, like my friend Whitney, law of attraction and mirrors. It is what we are, and this is you. So you understand, in order for you to ascend and be ascend, you will indeed need to trust. Trust, no matter what anything feels like. And you're not telling everybody, too, this is secretive, the high priestess. This is, I know now. And um, this is possibly after a breakup of some kind. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be seven years in a relationship, seven months in a relationship, seven events, seven dates. Whatever this is, this is something that has been built on, but not anymore. Why? Could be family. Because someone made a choice. You guys or someone is at the crossroads, and they're deciding which path to take. So here we have a choice. What is your choice, High Priestess? As you forgive and learn, you can go. I heard the scripture, and I don't know if you guys are into the Bible. Some of you might not be, but I do, I do hope that you understand that any esoteric learning is, it, is it's all the truth. It's just jumbled up. It's how you perceive it. Okay, so um, I just heard that why uh, that saying where um, wide and narrow is the path that leads to destruction. It's familiar, and many will be on it. But narrow is the road that leads to eternal life, and few are the ones finding it. And this is the path to eternal life. And look what you're doing. Do you see? And you're doing it intuitively. And in order to go up this ladder, Gemini. You are learning this lesson more than anything. Love, true love, chemistry, children, it doesn't matter. You are light workers. You have a light experience in your body. You have codes and messages for the world, and I suggest you get them out there. Don't fart around. No time for players, all right? I don't see any time for players for you right now. Don't be one, and you won't attract one. That's the law of attraction. My loves, why do we have children on the scene? Because they make you happy and they're probably your pride and joy, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Your love is being affected by children and some of you are divinely happy about it. Could be uh, are surrounded by little water children, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. They make you really happy, whoever it is. There's joy around children and it's a tender spirit. You will not see the kingdom of heaven unless you have the heart of a child. Heart of children are still learning about love, the true love. They come in with true love. They are 90%, um, 99% of the time. It's innocence and purity. And that's lovely to be around, isn't it? Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Well... These are, this is your pride and joy. Someone's thinking about it. This is the Three of Pentacles. And this is something that has been built and it's already constructed. So I see three people here. I don't know the relationship, but I do see that someone may be in separation um, from children and in hermiting stage at the moment, trying to figure out using the wisest choice possible. Could be uh, Virgo. This is Earth. So it could be a Virgo child or a Virgo. A uh, person that you're dealing with, tell me more. Seven of Wands in reverse, they're not going to fight with you. They're learning from the relationship. This is uh, maybe fighting over children, mm, something like that. But it's in reverse, so wisdom dictates that your partner or whatever has pulled back and they're, they're, they're needing wisdom. They're also needing healing. Aquarius in reverse, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, which is not, uh, this is your message though. Children learning, forgiving, chemistry, and true love, and honestly, no matter what's happening, if you don't tolerate an in and out experience and you make a good choice, you will indeed, I'm a Reiki master, I turn this over, you will indeed draw the energy of healing, divine inspiration, and true love to yourself and get victory as well. So you have the Six of Wands here. One more love card, please, for this, for Gemini's. Let's look at the Moon cards, too. Above all else, 
no matter what has challenged you, no matter what offers off the table, on the table, or wherever you're going. Stay optimistic about your love life. This is a mindset. This is a feeling. This is a place you go to spiritually. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And the person that will take you out of the place of worry into the place of healing and growth into a place of overflowing of unconditional love, making your life matter, making you feel like you're appreciated, loved, um, and this is that portion of your reading, my dears. Gemini's, I've been enjoying reading this for you. I was told to read this to you two days ago, but I've been doing a lot of medical and healing, going to the health spa and sitting under chats. I'm pretty well into my, um, not at all, but I don't know. I don't call myself old till I'm 80. Trust me. Here we go, my beautifuls. What does the moon want to say to our lovely Gemini's happy birthday, Gemini reading? What's up? Does any of this relate? I guess you could leave me some comments, beautifuls. And uh, I am doing readings, too. I have some openings. Any kind of reading you need can be done. Lately, I have to tell you, <laughs> I've been getting an influx of deep personal readings. And they're an anointing falls every time. And I feel like I'm definitely tapping into that person. They definitely get something because the feedback is so phenomenal from everybody. I don't take it personally. It is your love energy. I'm in your energy. And I'll bring you what I have. And I think some of it's just absolutely synchronistic, confirming, educating, encouraging, entertaining, and enlightening. One, you and your loved ones are safe. Cancer energy. Of course you have cancer right here, chemistry. Yeah, emotions are running high. You have, you know, you're feeling you're falling into this thing where you've made a change with someone, or uh, some of you have drawn a boundary with players, are choosing a path of healing, love, and wholeness and wisdom. You are are surrounded by children. Work through your fears, Gemini's. You might need friends to help you with that, though. And you are good enough. Oh. Indeed you are, my loves. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give you one of these cards because I absolutely trust these cards to kind of tie everything in. And these are the Spirit of the Wheel Meditation deck. You know, when I looked at them, I thought, no big deal. They're Native American. Well, there's way more to them than that. Trust me. And as a spiritual person, I feel this energy here. I feel these messages correlate to your journey. However, you do not want to make life-altering choices based on a tarot reading unless you truly, truly, truly have already decided. That's why I call it confirmations. You've already decided something, but you're not certain whether you should follow through. And you've checked the psychic energies to find out. That's what we're here for. This is what the deck looks like on the outside. All my relations. Spirit of the wheel. <clears throat> Frogs return moon. You are building dreams. You are filled with determination. And you have spiritual cooperation. Number 22 is master builder number. Oh my God, Geminis. I have yet to fall in love with a Gemini. Or love a Ge be with a Gemini. I have Gemini friends. They're all girls. Uh, I, oh, yes, I was. I dated a musician that was a Gemini. Um, yeah, he liked guys more than he liked me. He, oh, well, I let that go. I love him. Okay, here's the dealio. Your message here, Gemini, for your birthday is the energy of this moon brings you the stamina, determination, and mental clarity to successfully plan, build, and create what you desire. Once you begin the process... Your plans will quickly unfold 
And this is truly the time for planting the dream seed. Those born under this sign sometimes experience a disruption in their work because of fears or because they I can do it all by myself attitude. Do not tackle the project alone. Be flexible and accept help and valuable input along the way. Working with others will help you reach your destination faster, channel your stubbornness and into determination, work toward your dreams with a group mind attitude, whether that group is your family, friends, or coworkers. Their love and support will help you reach your dreams. I will help you with love and support too. I've got a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna look one more step for you guys. One more step. A divine message from the goddess Isis. Let's look for my beautiful, beautiful uh, Gemini's Spe uh, precious gems. I call you precious gems. You tell me that. You tell me that in the spirit. My guides tell me precious gems. Divine destiny. The divine warrior within is within you. Is within you. Excuse me. Helping you to continue with a worthy path even during times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. It might be by bringing more wisdom, focus, or intelligence, or surrendering into the divine. The warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination. I would say yes, that is very true. One more card because we have a moment. I'm making sure you get a real good feeding here. Spiritual food, you know. Spiritual food. Oh, nothing. If we're nothing, if not growing, right? So I'm going to look in the fairy Lenormans here and see what the instruction for guidance is. What's going on with you? Um. Oh. Okay, this is communication. This is speaking your truth. This is sealed with a kiss, signed, sealed, delivered. This is nine. This is this isn't your dreams, manifestations, um, trusting prayers, working your work, your sacred knowledge. Um, mm. Let me see if the book says something a little different. Where did I put that book anyway? Here it is. So, number 27, that's my birthday, you guys, 27, and I'm a messenger, so maybe I'm bringing you guys, I'm touching somebody. This is about sentimentality and about um, communications. This card is about, um, yeah, about showing you some mercy, some cooperation, some kindness, expressing your truth, looking for answers, finding um your way through a tough situation, whether it does or does not include children, the way is your divine destiny. It's for you to build your dreams. It's for you to build your dreams and work through your fears. What is your fear? Someone put you down and didn't make you feel good enough. You are beyond good enough. And if I had to choose a, a card for Gemini, even though this is Virgo Moon, I think that's a Gemini picture right there. Heart space. Beautiful. Flowers on her head. Sensual. Work through your fears like a Scorpio would. Okay? You and your loved ones are safe. You're on this amazing journey. I love you. Thank you. Let me know if you'd like a reading. Everything in the box below. Um, I love you. Bye, precious gems. Happy birthday.